Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we will learn all about constructor in C sharp object oriented programming. So first of all, what is constructor? A constructor is a member function whose task is to initialize the objects of its class. In other words, it is a method of a class that executes when the class objects are created. So let's create a new project and we will talk about it further. Visual C Sharp ConsoleApp.net framework and let's give it a name as cons constructor. Click OK. And our new project constructor is launched successfully. So let me tell you some more important points about constructor. A constructor have uh, no return type. Constructor are used to initialize the attributes or properties of a class. We always declare constructor as public using public access uh, specifier. We will see all these things when we implement or write code for a uh, constructor. So let's do that. Since you know that uh, this is our main function and here first of all let's create a class and let's say the name of our class will be calculator these two braces so how to create a constructor let me tell you that as I told you that uh, we declare constructor always public okay that is to uh, initialize I mean to start it with public access uh, specified so we can say public and to get the constructor we have to write the class name which is calculator then these two braces and this is our constructor so if we left uh, this constructor as it is as you can see it on your screen then this is basically the constructor with no arguments or you can say this is a default constructor now what we're gonna do as you know this is our main function so here we can create an object of our class calculator so here we can say calculator which is our class and the name of the object will be obj1 equals to new calculator then this and now here uh, let's create variables so I will say double input 1 comma input 2 let's initialize this first input 1 with 10 and this input 2 with 2 now let's pass these two values uh, to the constructor so how we can do that here we can say input 1 comma input 2 and now here we have to do the same we have to get these values from here which is of double data type so here we can say input 1 we can also give it any name you want I will use the same name here okay and the second one will be input 2 and here let's create the attributes of this class so you can say private num1 and it will be the same which is the double data type okay and let's copy paste this so this is the second attribute of this class and we have to uh, assign the input 1 to num1 so we can say input 1 and then num2 equals to input 2 so we have to assign input 2 to num1 and now this constructor becomes a constructor with parameters let's create another attribute and we will call it as a result and now inside this constructor we can say result equals to num1 multiply num2 and let's display the result so we can say console dot right line multiplication results equals to this concatenation sign and then the result make sure to put a semicolon here let's run this program and then I will explain it so control f5 press and you can see multiplication results equals to 20 so now what is uh, basically constructor as I told you 
according to the definition a constructor is a member function whose task is to initialize the object of its class so a constructor is basically a member function of its own class and whenever we create object of this class so you can see that it is a method of a class that executes when the class objects are created so whenever we create the object of that class then uh, the constructor is executed automatically you can see that also here okay which is the important points for a constructor constructor is used to initialize the attributes and properties of a class so constructor are used to initialize the attributes of its class since when object is created of that class then constructor is initialized okay so, uh, automatically okay so it is i mean it's initialize its attributes and the value from input 1 is goes to num1 and the value from input 2 is goes to num2 a constructor have uh, no return type so a constructor will have no return type if we say return result then we will get error you can see that okay and we declare constructor always public okay you can see that public if we make it private then we will get error and here we go you can see that okay we get error here so we cannot we should always use the public uh, specifier so now uh, how this whole program works we just basically create two, vari uh, two variables input 1 input 2 the first one is initialized with 10 and the second with 2 and then we create object of the class calculator which is the obj1 and we are directly passing these two values since we are using the constructor here so whenever we create the object of this calculator class then our uh, constructor will initialize and it will uh, initialize uh, its attributes so it will uh, the input 1 and input 2 values comes here and it will uh, assign input 1 value to num1 and input 2 to num2 and it will perform the multiplication of these two values and it will display us the result as you see if i press ctrl f5 then you can see that multiplication results equals to 20. so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now